Um, I'm here to feel my opponent's claim to um, put off the Endangerment Act that is protecting the Delta Smelt. Uh, the Delta Smelt is actually a pretty significant fish in the uh, 940 square mile delta. Uh, the 940 square mile delta holds up to 750 different species of plants and animals. And uh, the delta smelt works as an indicator species. And uh, the health of the delta smelt population is perfectly tied to a clean and healthy aquatic environment. Therefore, the health reflects to the overall health of the delta. So getting rid of these fish would actually be very harmful uh, to these farmers. But um, my opponent mentions that it's really the pumps that are really um, causing the decline of the population of these fish. But it's, uh, according to Stephen Tildem, a uh, UC Berkeley toxicologist, has discovered, has discovered a wide range of pesticides that are playing in the multifaceted crisis of the Sacramento San Joaquin Delta. So even if um, even if these pumps do come on, I mean go on, um, there are still pesticides that are ruining the water, making it, you know, not so safe for farming conditions. Um, the pumps also shouldn't come up, come back on because uh, not, they're a big factor for killing these small fish. <coughs> and uh, these small fish are part of a very large food chain. Uh, food chain, let's see. The delta smelts are a vital link in the food chain uh, for fish like salmon, green sturgeon, and bass, says Cameron Jagger of the Farallonis Marine Sanctuary. So, uh, that could also lead to uh, the decline of federal fisheries and commercial and recreational salmon fishing, and uh, possibly the decline of the waterfowl that feed on the fish. Southern California. There are many other water sources that are available. Uh, let's see. Okay, my opponent also mentions the very high unemployment rate in California, and um, this rate is a result of the sun with the unhealthy delta. Uh, we need to let the population of the delta smelt uh, repopulate. So. <coughs> will have a, f a better understanding of how, uh, how healthy the water in the Delta is. Um, but there are also, like I mentioned before, there are also factors involving the Delta smelt's um, endangerment, such as pesticides, indigenous species, and climate change in the water. California's water. Um, however, California's water isn't really going anywhere, um, so therefore it's not really being wasted. And like I mentioned before, uh, the pesticides that are probably causing the Delta smell to die could probably mean that the water is unhealthy for any farming. And um, <coughs> uh, my opponent also mentions the uh, a plan to help save the uh, Delta Smelt with, with um, it's called the Two Gates. Um, let's see. The Two Gates is was a um, 
proposal by Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, and um, they kind of just like rushed through the plan, and um, it's actually a pretty costly plan. Um, Biologicaldiversity.org uh, says that a draft economic report shows that the proposed canal or the two gauge plan could cost up to a staggering $54 billion. And um, really, that's pretty expensive. Uh, about the two gauge project, Jeff Miller, a um, conservation activist, advocate uh, for the Center of Biological <coughs> Diversity says, uh, no aspect of this budget busting project makes sense at a time when native fish populations have collapsed due to unsustainable water diversions um, and state parks are being closed by budget problems. <coughs> so, Oh, also, um, researchers at the Center for Biological um, Diversity believe that uh, the construction of the canals would lead to destruction of the California Delta ecosystem and its imperiled fish species, including the Delta smelt, uh, longfin smelt, <coughs> and Central Valley Chinook salmon. So, um, basically, <coughs> this two gates that my opponent mentioned is a very costly and uh, costly project and it might <coughs> really be harmful to the fish in the Delta. Uh, 